yum yum. Okay, I'm Heather Almorjo, and I've decided to start a vlog, um, 100 days to launch. This is inspired. <clears throat> Those of you who know me know that I just acquired my permaculture design certification, and this was really exciting because my final presentation was a business design with the permaculture ethics at the core of its creation. So I've been really excited about developing it, the idea and coming to understand where I'm going to implement these ideas and how it's going to all roll out. So part of what I've learned about myself over the past 10 so years of Facebook being online is that um, social accountability um, I've also learned this from the 12 steps of recovery. Social accountability is a really powerful tool. You know, when I was doing the um, July, Plastic Free July, I tried to post one thing every day for 30 days that had to do with being plastic free. And I was motivated to complete that to the best of my abilities. Um, and it really challenged me in a lot of ways. Um, same with when I tried to do the um, 20 squats in 20 days in support of the veterans who have PTSD. Um, I did hit a wall with that because I was pregnant, but it, the social accountability of creating videos and, and posting it live online helped me keep myself accountable. So the point of this vlog is going to be to set up something every day to talk about what I am working on in relation to launching this business, the business being Morjo Earth Arts. Um, it, it's a co-op company that is a permaculture design company as well as landscaping and eventually my final goal is to reach a point where we can set up an ethical burial ground called the sacred forest so i've come up with some ideas of things i need to accomplish over the next hundred days so we're just going to quickly go through i've got my pen here so complete business plans i've got tons of journals full of like loose ideas and worked out ideas and resources as far as um, working on the business plan goes i'm working on the computer now and putting in some templates however there will be multiple business plans so earth arts as a co-op in and of itself earthworks the healing farm the sacred forest and the hemp co-op which i haven't talked much about um, all has to be developed and complete and then i need to get to a place where i can present these business plans to potential mentors i have two in mind currently who might be able to help me further develop it um, I need to complete my Métis Nation status card paperwork. I am really inspired by everything I've learned about my ancestors and how they've pioneered Alberta and Western Canada, Western North America, really. And, um, you know, the things that they've accomplished makes me want to accomplish more. You know, I've got barriers in my way. I'm not going to give airtime to those barriers. Um, but I feel that their DNA, you know, in, in me, what they accomplished resonates through me in my DNA. So that's what I'm kind of pulling on there. Um, as well, I will undergo any training available for Métis and Indigenous people and their employers, because I do hope to become an employer of many um, marginalized people, including First Nations people. So create videos. Um, we're going to have to find help to make these videos because what you're seeing is the extent of my tech skill with video. Um, the main Kickstarter video is going to have to be a two minute BAM um, thing. Videos for each of the businesses um, is going to have to be completed. I do have one contact I'm working with on that. Uh, we haven't connected fully yet. Connect with a government funding expert. And I'm very happy to be able to go check. We did that today. So we're going through funding options and going through training options that are available through the Government of Canada. Um, meet with Calgary Community and Co-op Association. I do have emails in for that. Um, looking forward to a meeting. 
in the future and we'll be discussing licensing for co-op establishment. Um, attend the Econo Us seminar instead of Econo Me, it is Econo Us. And I will be um, writing my learnings about economy and shared prosperity to a shareable booklet. And that will go out with thank you notes to the people who funded my attendance in this seminar. And then in big capital letters, it says website because that's its own big monster um, that I realize I'll need professional assistance on that as well. Connect with other permaculture designers, connect with other farms and greenhouses, connect with landscapers um, for hiring. There will have to be through the John Howard Society, Keys to Recovery and other sober housing, Treaty 7 and the Métis Nation of Alberta, um, Community Alternative Support Services and the Mental Health Association of Alberta. Um, I don't know what associations to contact for physical disabilities. I don't know who to contact about elders and seniors and their employability. Students, I'm not sure about them either. I did write Old col Olds College down there as an option as well. Um, lawyers. That's another big area I'm not really skilled at, but I look forward to learning more. Um, there is a book that will have to be worked on, um, which requires botanical paintings, um, botanical art paintings, pardon me, uh, the design for the booklet, the information, and the final printing of it. And all of this will lead to hopefully in 100 days being able to launch a Kickstarter. Kickstarter is not pos possible to launch from Canada. It's American only. Um, so we'll probably set up a PayPal or something similar. There'll have to be gifts available at all levels of investment in the company. Um, and I have those gifts listed out. Um, the books, the prints, the membership into the co-op, and a certification that you are uh, able to take a place in the Sacred Forest resting spot once it's developed. Um, videos and disclosures for the website um, all of this is going to have to launch within 100 days. So those are my goals for the next 100 days. I am really open to ideas and suggestions and hearing what other people have to th say about how I'm developing things and how it's moving forward. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm terribly nervous about all this. However, you know, I look at... Um, empowering a million women by 20, I believe it's 2020, um, as an organization which is trying to help female entrepreneurs get to a place where they can realize their dreams. Um, I, I look at some of the ladies in my life, my mother, my aunts, and some of the women that are business owners that I'm in contact with and the things that they've accomplished and where they started from and where they got to. And so I'm trying to focus more on what is possible, right? I could, I could sit here and I could list off all the things that are standing in my way right now. But the truth is, um, right now, I have a supportive partner. I have a supportive environment and good health that will allow me to try and create this vision that I see for the future of um, my career and hopefully for the future of Canada really, and North America. I do, I do see these concepts being really broad, reaching, and empowering to a lot of people, not just me. Like, it's never um, been just about me getting a personal wealth. It's been about redefining what a, a healthy, thriving community is and how I can help with the tools of permaculture to make that possible. Um, so this is day one, and I will make it my goal to activate a video every day for the next 100 days. I believe I calculated it to December 9th is when we would be looking at launching. So thank you for your support. Um, those who are on the Earth Arts group, thank you for your ongoing encouragement, criticisms and passion. And I hope you have a wonderful day.